real estate is an investment. Uh, I wanted to talk about that for a little bit as well. So real estate is an investment, yes, and it should be seen as such. I know a lot of people approach real estate from a different aspect. Some consider it to be a way to leave your job early. Some people consider it kind of like a replacement to a retirement plan or part of their retirement plan. And I think it's really important to note that there are four main ways to make money in real estate investing. The first way is obviously the cash flow. I think that's what most people talk about. And the people that want to retire early, I think this is the part that they hone in on, is the cash flow that they're going to get on a monthly basis when that property is rented out. The second way is appreciation. Now, appreciation is kind of like icing on the cake. It's my opinion and that you should approach rental properties from the view of like a cash flow perspective. So if the property is not cash flow positive, then you likely should not buy it. Uh, some people invest for appreciation because they might be in a market where prices are rapidly increasing and they're not necessarily concerned if the property is cash flow positive. They just want the appreciation benefits from that. I would not advise that. I think that is rather speculative and a little bit risky. I would not bet on that. However, over time, if you invest in real estate for any decent duration of time, you're going to experience a lot of appreciation. Uh, appreciation, from my understanding, is always equal to or greater than inflation. So during the years where we see a substantial amount of inflation, like this one, then real estate is expected to increase uh, at least proportionately to inflation. So that's really cool. And you know, one of the, when I think about appreciation, uh, one of the, I think it's like a Chinese proverb, maybe it comes to mind. And that's that the best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. The second best time uh, is today. And I feel like that is my overall sentiment about getting started in real estate. I would not attempt to time anything. The only thing I would do is go in with the understanding that this is going to be a 30 year investment for you. So I would take that and that is as far as I would consider appreciation. It's going to happen over a length of time. However, you shouldn't plan on it. The third way are the tax benefits. So each time you purchase a property, I'm a little bit fuzzy right now, whether it's 27 and a half years or 28 and a half years, I always get a little bit caught up on that. But you're able to write off the purchase price of that property. So you're able to count that against your active income. And you're also able to write off all the expenses related to the property. Now, I wouldn't get too caught up on writing off expenses because at the end of the day, it's better to keep money than spend it. However, if you're going to spend it, it's also pretty cool if you get to write that off. So the tax benefits are great. And once you get a sizable net worth or a sizable portfolio, as you're writing that off over the 27 or 28 and a half years, um, and you're going to be able to count that against your active income, which is a pretty positive thing. The fourth way, which is only applicable if you use leverage, which is the principal pay down. So if you have a property that's rented out, then you are going to be able to use the rental income to make the mortgage payment. And part of the mortgage payment is your principal pay down. So you're essentially taking a portion of all of the rental income that you receive and you are saving it for later or it's going against the mortgage and that's going to accumulate over the appreciation uh, along with the appreciation so i would say that considering all four of those factors cash flow is one of them and not nearly the largest way to make money from real estate investing and because it's not necessarily the largest way to make money from real estate then i also it makes me concerned when I hear people and am talking with people where they have full expectations of retiring in like two or three years based solely off their real estate income. And the issues that I have with that are, first off, cash flow is one way, but also not the uh, largest of ways to make money in real estate investing. And also in order to grow a sizable portfolio, one that would allow you to retire, the cash flow, any cash flow that you're able to, you should reinvest that into acquiring additional properties. So with the long-term focus and the long-term perspective of acquiring rental properties, I would say that it is best to view real estate as an investment over a long period of time, one that will surely make you wealthy, 
but I would not have any zero to 10 year expectations of those rental properties. Now, I say that at this point, my brother and I have just shy of 240 properties. And while the cash flow is nice, we do not live off of it. Uh, we, we do not take enough from our portfolio to pay for all of our current living expenses. And the reason for that is we are aggressively reinvesting uh, into building a larger portfolio. So we take out a very small amount uh, to help us live for sure, but not to do this retiring early thing. And I think it's important to note that everybody that's investing in real estate really needs to determine their why and what motivates them. And if retiring early is your main focus, then you should certainly build a strategy around that. But keep in mind, that there are just as many ways to make money in real estate investing as there are people investing in real estate. So the more money you take out of your cash flow on a monthly basis, the slower you're going to build and the more you're kind of choking any future growth of your portfolio. So there's a fine balance in kind of consuming part of the cash flow and also continuing to grow and feed into the business so it remains healthy. And that's a fine balance for any business owner that they need to find the balance of and plan appropriately. I would say the depreciation, the principal pay down, and even the tax benefits are comparable to kind of the time benefits associated with working like a W-2 job. So as you're working, you are building up vacation days, sick days, you know, holidays, depending on, you know, when I was in, when I was in law enforcement, those were just things that every pay period, uh, you got more of those that you could use if you wanted to. If you save those for any number of years, then you would be able to take several months off. Uh, if you are save those for your entire career, you'd be able to retire two or three years early or get really large payouts uh, for that time that you worked. I would consider appreciation, principal pay down and the tax benefits similar to that. So while you are not gonna be able to live off them uh, as you collect them in the months that you collect them, I would say that over any length of time investing in real estate, you are going to be able to utilize those three as needed and pull from them. So in five, six years, you can pull from some of the equity that is generated both in the principal pay down and also in the appreciation. So that's what I've got to say about real estate as an investment. Thanks for watching that clip. I thought that was a good question. And I think you can ask good questions too. Join us every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream Q&A where we answer plenty of questions just like this one. In the meantime, consider subscribing to the channel if you want more of this content. And if you want to increase your deal flow, analyze properties better, and help me feed my family, Click the link below for a free seven-day trial of PropStream.